Happy Friday, print fam. Welcome back to the print shop. My name is Darren. I don't, don't, I don't know what else I'm gonna say. Anyway, yesterday, I said I didn't know what we were gonna do today. Luckily, Bob stepped up. I got a bunch of jobs ready to go. So I'm working in Flexi right now, um, laying out some hand sanitizer labels that he sold. They are super tiny. They're one inch by one and a half inch. They need a thousand of them total. And so it's gonna be four feet of media. So nothing huge, oh, excuse me, nothing huge at all there. Uh, so two sets of those, 500 each. Then he has some one inch thank you stickers. And then he also, Bob's just been crushing it. He also has two sets of business cards, and then I have a flyer that I can print. So, we do have a few things to do. I do have one of my BNI members coming over to say hello and to see the print shop. He wanted to see it, which is part of the reason why I cleaned up a little bit, because I kind of make it look nice. Um, so a little bit more cleaning up to probably do, and then this morning I've already printed these little stickers. So, let's fun. Let's, let's have some fun. Let's do some time lapse. Print fam, it's been a crazy day. Box running again. And I think that's the second time in a week. Like, it's a miracle, Bach never runs. I probably should go in the other room so you can hear me. He has to see it. <laughs> um, HP Latex stuff this morning. I was gonna do some stuff on the Konica. My BNI member, or co-member, came and we cut some stuff out for Bob and the artwork's wrong. So 
so nothing to film until he fixes the artwork. He basically, he had Penji design it, but he didn't confirm and I didn't confirm just because it was the right size. And when I went to show my B&I member, I was like, yeah, I think this is going to cut. And it did. And I pulled up the file afterwards after he left. And sure enough, the artwork goes right to the edge of the three and a half by two. So Bob's going to get that fixed tomorrow. Um, probably won't work tomorrow just because I don't want to. And I've been working a lot, working late. It's already seven o'clock right now. And I want to finish these hats before I call it a night. And just finish some stickers that I got to ship off to Colorado. So we'll do that tonight. Um, but let's do some Bach time lapse. Something just happened. Probably a thread break. Hats are done, the last one finished. Just gotta take it off, prep everything. And then we need to do some aprons, but I don't have backer big enough. So I'm gonna go into Salt Lake to get some paper and some bigger backer on Monday. Um, few, I gotta do one more decal. I probably end up printing it tomorrow. Um, and then just some artwork stuff and a few other administrative things tonight and it'll be done. So I've already paid Bob. I try to pay him every Friday. And yeah, do a few more things and I'll check in for the call it a night. All right, print fam. It is time to call it a night. I've been spending the last few hours to say the least it's now 3 a.m. been spending the last few hours setting up a service called Nextcloud. It is a Dropbox alternative that you can host yourself and because I'm trying to save money I figured I'd give it a try. That would be awesome if you do that let me know because I gotta pay for Dropbox premium right now it's like it's not like a ton of money but Still, I could have the service for about $10 a month. Um, that gives me one hosting account or an IP address, basically a server. And then I attached a, what's called a space for DigitalOcean anyway. Um, so you have the server and then the space, which gives me 250 gig 
of storage for that five bucks. So five dollars for the server, five dollars for the space, and then every additional gig is like two cents per gig per month. Um, right now, based off of our current Dropbox usage between me and Bob, we have 200 gig total, but that also includes the videos for YouTube, which is about 70 gig over a two week period of time. Um, I guess that also includes a few videos from my tech channel that I haven't edited and whatnot. Um, so I think if I can remove those tech videos and get everything up and going, it should be about 10 bucks a month, which will make it so we can cancel Bob's subscription and it will make it so that if we get someone new or I need to add another computer or another device, we can add more users at no additional cost until we need to up our space, but it's a dynamic space because we pay pennies per gig. So it should be, should be good. trying not to yawn <laughs> um, so I'll use it for a little bit I'm gonna try to move all my stuff to it and if it works well then we'll move all Bob's stuff to it and see how it goes so. in the meantime though if you have any questions about what it is why do it how do it etc leave those questions down in the comments thank you Cam for editing the video really appreciate you if you guys want to support the channel you can do so with the links in the description patreon Amazon affiliate links, all that fun stuff. And then one thing to note, while the time lapse was going, um, hold that thought. I didn't tell you that the embroidery machine broke. So when my B and I guy was here, the needle number one went down and it broke, which caused the alignment to shift Caused the alignment to shift on the head and the thingy. I don't even know what it's all called. And so the needle is stuck down. Well, not the needle, but like the, the shaft for that needle. And there's a little twisty knob on the side that you can get it. And I could get it to move to the, well, it would move to the right, but I couldn't. I just need to yawn, sorry. At 3 a.m. So I could twist it and get it to shift the head to the right, but then it wouldn't go back. And so I kept playing with it and messing with it. And I found some document that said you try to like jump bounce it or bounce something. So I just kept flicking it and trying to get it to bump and move and twist. And finally that resolved it. So it was called Error 300. I I'm gonna call it a night. Anyway, I fixed the embroidery machine. We ran the embroidery machine. I broke a bunch of needles, not sure why. Hats are not as fun as flats. And I think that's why I've hated the embroidery so much because the majority of what I've done is hats and they're harder, at least on this machine. And it could be that I just don't know what I'm doing. That's likely the case. I mean, that number just keeps jumping the yawn count. Anyway, thanks for watching. We appreciate you being here. Make sure you're subscribed so you can come back on Monday. Thank you, print fan. Huge shout out to our patrons over at patreon.com forward slash TTMS.